previously we have seen that uh, how to add your UI element into object repository. Am I correct? And also you can use that particular object repository, whatever the element you added into your uh, no object repository that you can use in a different, uh, I mean within the process, okay, within this object repository process you can use. So then next question is, how can I use that particular process, I mean the object repository in outside of, you know, in a different process. Let's say, you know, I'm going to create a new process that is, you know, let's say uh, any teller uh, automation, withdraw automation. any teller with the automation and uh, so here paste it and they click on create okay now your new uh, process create we have created new process and here if I want to uh, this, if I want to use that uh, previous object repository, how to know uh, get that particular uh, object repository uh, UI element? You know here in this uh, object repository panel. Okay, so that is the one we are going to uh, check now. So let's why you know there is a package uh, corrupted and it's, it's installing the package. Okay, so now uh, the process is ready. So here you cannot see anything here, but I want to get that particular, you no, know, the previous object repository uh, uh, element in this process. But before you no know, getting into this, uh, before you no know, bringing that element uh, here, and we need to do couple of steps. So what is that? So go back to that uh, process where you created, uh, I mean, where you added all your object repository, here you, see, uh, here you see, right? So these are the element you captured. So in order to bring it this object repository from one process to another process, first you need to publish your object repository, okay? So to publish your object repository, it's very simple. Go here uh, in, uh, on your object repository panel and click on this uh, the, the corner you know extract as a ui library project okay so if i if you click this button okay the moment you click you will get this name and location and description okay so i am going to you know uh, give the name of this any teller uh, any teller app uh, object repository okay and here uh, so i'm going to uh, uh, publish this as a uh, ui library okay ui path library okay so if i say library okay what is mean library so uh, you can you know publish uh, your object repository as a library you can publish your you know uh, activity as a library you can publish your process as a library you can publish your template as a library so uh, even now, uh, we have learned that RE framework, right? Customized uh, RE framework. You can publish that as that also. Or else, no. Let's say, no. You have uh, uh, you have identified something, no. Some uh, uh, calculation on uh, dates or uh, calculation on um, uh, numbers or something. Okay, that you can publish as a library or the the flow, no, which you created, you know, that you are thinking that, you know. That will help you on uh, many places that you can uh, uh, publish as a library okay now i am going uh, back to the uh, place you now where i publish the library see here the moment i publish and here you see and uh, you will get this uh, l uh, symbol right so here you see uh, there is a l symbol to create a library and so the process we used uh, now very often and here the library so which you can you know uh, you can create this uh, library you can add a you know, couple of activity and you can publish it so the same so once i publish it as a library and you will see this icon and open this 
now i am opening uh, my library okay so here and you see all the object repository element is available here nothing uh, there is nothing okay and now i am going to publish this library i want to publish this library in order to get uh, that object repository into another process okay and click on publish okay so then there is a package name any teller object repository okay and click on next and here you see the custom url where you want to uh, uh, publish your uh, uh, this particular uh, any teller app object repository so let's say uh, i'm going to create a new folder and uh, so here uh, in the document so here i'm going to use new folder that is object repository object repository uh, ui element okay object repository ui element and copy this path and go back here and paste it and uh, click on here now we have a two option we can publish the same uh, object repository into orchestrator as well okay so i am going to publish this as a custom and click on next and click on publish so now click on accept now our library is success, uh, published no successfully okay so that is located in this folder if you click on this folder and you will see here there is a package published in new pkg okay in the object repository element folder and click on okay now go back to your new process that is uh, any teller with raw automation right so go here and click on open uh, uh, window okay so this is the place you want your uh, uh, object repository right which is uh, which you created and the uh, earlier process okay the previous process now go to this object repository panel and right click on the uh, ui libraries and click on the manage packages okay the moment you click on the manage packages you will get this window manage package window so these are the uh, this this is the place now you will uh, you use to uh, uh download your packages right and here and uh, if you click uh, so there is a any teller which is i published uh, before i don't want this and if you go to local uh, there is a one package is available leave it and uh, so now currently my package is available in this folder okay where in this object repository ui element so now i want to add this folder as a local okay and go to settings and uh, so here uh, there is a local okay here click on uh, new and here uh, enter your url of this and uh, the name the package name uh, new package source so let's say i'm going to give uh, object repository okay and uh, then click on add so the moment you added uh, uh, your uh, new package source and the, uh, after the given the path so it's added here okay and you click on uh, cancel and again go here click on manage package and go here on the object repository you see there is a any teller app object repository which we published in this folder okay any teller op any teller app object repository and now click on this okay and install and click on save and now we have detected dependency downgraded do you want to fix them click on yes there is a two version published okay now you see and uh, so here there is your object uh, your you know there is a your uh, ui element so you can use that uh, let's say i want the application first so you can drag and drop and then after that you want to click deposit you can drag and drop and you can click okay then if you want uh, type into you can uh, go and click on type into so uh, this is how we need to reuse our uh, i mean uh, your object repository from one process to another process so the first step is you need to uh, capture all your all your uh, no, uh, ui element and store it into object repository then publish your object repository as a library then 
that library publish uh, i mean publish the project and as a new pkg then uh, go to uh, click, go and create a new process and there no click on right click on this ui library click on manage packages and uh, give the location of your uh, any package and install it and uh, that's it you will get your all your repository so whenever there is you no know, change let's say here you have a uh, any teller object repository right so you can capture this 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 here also uh, for you can add a new uh, a library i mean new uh, ui element or else you can add it uh, with this previous object repository process you can publish the same uh, way and you can get the latest version okay this is how uh, we can reuse our object repository